Hi viewers, hello, I am your JRS. Welcome to my channel, JRS Arikarma Academy. So friends, today I want to explain the Indian climate, that is the 10th geography. In the part 1, I already explained about the Indian climatic seasons and also about the winter season. And today, I will explain the remaining climatic seasons along with the, the rainfall, how it is distributed in India. So second most important Indian climatic season that is the summer season. Sunrise vertically falls on the northern hemisphere. Hence temperature is very high. So not only in India, including Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Mongolia and all the other countries. Which are the countries that comes in the northern hemisphere. These are all the countries they have the extreme temperature, high temperature. So during the season, especially the summer season begins from the March up to the May, March, April, May, three months. Temperature gradually increases all over the India. And what are the features during the time? So during the time, the Indian climate is very hot, then dry and sultry. And third, this basic area on the calendar day, this day, has to basic area, has to temperature area, and third, so, even the summer of March, April, May, this mood thing like that, Surya ne kiran ro, uttarad ko bolte mein neerva ki bedo, neerva ki bitta Surya ne kiran lele neerva ki bedo, to alle saamane neerva ki usnam chena, to the jaise kiro the, uttarad ko bolan the agar Bahar ta share kono aniye ka rashtra uttarad ko bolte bolo ta, ayalla rashtra lo sa ha usnam chena uttar do, idhe rite ki jaise kya bolte hain chadi, Bahar dal inge ro tapa, aavon do basic ek kal dal inge ro hai, Mate, one havero. Other the Jute, Atiada, Begi, Dagerote. So, two temperature erote. So, even the Kanad in Dagi, Bharat Dali, Atiad Usnam Sherote. And there is a place that is the Ganganagar. It is a very famous place because that is the place which recorded highest temperature in India. Bharat Dali, Ati Hitchu Usnam Sher Dakala Grostaya of Panther. So where it comes? It comes in the Rajasthan, Rajasthan the Lagoro Tenta. So just imagine what is the temperature recorded in that Ganganagar? 49.4 centigrade. So as 2 centigrade, Usnam Shanota, Ganganagar, Dakla Gide. So example Keltare, the Ganganagar Bagge, the Mapola Kelbodo, one month of Kelbodo, and the Ganganagar, Rajasthan the Lagoro Te, Ali Bhat Dali, Ati Hitchu Usnam Shed Dakla Gotala, Ganganagar Agide and Teddy. So the Jotege. Here discuss Marva Kapanjada, right? It's very, very important for the examination. So during even in the summer, the little bit rainfall occurred in the March, April, May. So even the basic Kazalusaha, Malena Borote, so Malena, very, very rajagal, very, very So this conventional rainfall, it called by different names in the different states. It's a very interesting title, sorry, here. So in the Uttar Pradesh, they called Andes. In the West Bengal, they called Kal Baisaki. In the Kerala, they are called Mango Showers. In the Karnataka, we are calling the Coffee Blossoms. So, even the basic Kaladal Burvanta Alpha Malaga, Vivida Rajagri, very very Sul Karitare, then Uttar Pradesh, Andes and Karitare, Pashim Bangal, Kal Baisaki and Karitare, then Kerala Dali, Marina Hulu and Karadre. Karnataka, Kafia, who are doing and Karita. So, in the examination, they are asking two questions regarding this why we call mango showers or why we call coffee blossoms. So, answer is the same, it's very easy because this conventional rainfall that is occurred in the summer season is conventional rainfall which is helpful to mango crop and also coffee crop. Even the basic Kaldal Boronta on the Polisana Malayan Ire, Am Malay Kanadindagine, he could a Marin of Hulu Borote, he could a coffee Bedenusa Hagote, so Akanadinda, Avona coffee blossoms and mango shows and Karita Re. So, Ili example Kelta Re, which is the state they are called the conventional rainfall is the mango shows and Kelta Avaga, new Karnataka and the Bari Bedi, so Karnataka Bulu mango Sire, Sangagi, Karnataka coffee blossoms in Kerala. Mango shores. So next uh, season is that is very very important. That is rainy season. 
so rainy season starts from june to mid september june july august mid september almost all four months it is very very important for the examination purpose because they are asking the two or three questions here i want to explain the one concept the concept of basic learning here we don't want to read blindly the textbook understand the concept then you can so this concept is very simple here temperature and pressure already you learned in the eighth standard where the regions they have a high temperature usually pressure is low where the areas they have high pressure usually temperature is high so hill usnam the jaisti rato otada kadme rote hill otada kadme rato alli usnam the jaisti agirutta ee one concept ani ittukoli ee one male galdalli in marthu lanu antaddo yake nam india walagade barutte anta an tilko bekadare here due to the summer season the land mass entire land mass it getting high temperature so high temperature means low pressure low pressure so then the water bodies they are the ocean uh, arabian ocean indian ocean are the bay of bengal so they have the high pressure zone because these water bodies they have low temperature usually so they have pressure so winds usually blows from high pressure regions to low pressure regions here water bodies they have the high pressure then land mass india it having low pressure so winds blows from the oceans towards the land mass that is the reason the rainfall activity in the june july august september and this rainy season it is also called south west monsoon season why we called so because of the direction the way how these winds blows from the south west to north east so ee maarthagalanna naavu nairutya monsoon maarthu kariithivi yak kariithivi ant helidre ಅವು ನೈಋತ್ಯ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನಿಂದ ಈಶಾನ್ಯ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ನೈಋತ್ಯ ಮಾನ್ಸೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಗಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅದು ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಯೂಶಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲೋಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೌತ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ರೈಲಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದ ಟೂ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೇ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ವಿಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೋಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ north eastern region again is they spikes towards the western ghats so bharatadalli ikkada nodu arabi samudra dinda ee maarthagala anuvantaddu ee pashchima ghatagala mukhantara eeshanya bhagu eeshanya bhagake bisutte ante and this is the reason western ghats and surrounding areas they are receiving heavy rainfall so including karnataka including other states of india they are receiving heavy rainfall because of the southwest monsoon winds so this is the arabian branch and what about the second one we have bengal branch here this branch it strikes towards the north eastern regions angana bharatakke male nantu bari arabi samudra nanta baruvanta maatu bangala kolli inda baruvanta male mele nu saha avalambita agide angagi arabi samudra nanta baruvanta maatu galu ee pashchima ghatta gal mukhantara aagu eeshana kadege hodare ಈ ಬೇ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಮಾತುಗಳು ಇರುವಾ ಅವು ದೇ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ನಾರ್ತ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಸೊ ಅವು ಉತ್ತರಕ್ಕೆ ಬೀಸುತ್ತೆ ಉತ್ತರಕ್ಕೆ ಬೀಸಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಉತ್ತರಕ್ಕೆ ಬೀಸಿದಾಗ ಈಶಾನ್ಯ ರಾಜ್ಯಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ಸಾಂ ಮೇಘಾಲಯ ತ್ರಿಪುರ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ಸೊ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ರಾಜ್ಯಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ರಿಸೀವ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೈನ್ಫಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಮೌಲ್ಡಿನ್ ರಾಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ it is recorded for the highest rainfall in india so ee karanadindane ee mozin ram anu ondu pradesha idella bharata hechu male bidu ondu pradesha nam meghalaya idella baruvantaddu hangagi ee mozin ram ge athava ee rajyagalige arabi samudra inda bandiranta maatrugalu male kododilla so bay of bengal alli baruvantaha ondu male maatrugalu ide adara palavagi alli male bidutte ant heli okay then last one that is monsoon retreating season ಮಾನ್ಸೂನ್ ಮಾರುತಗಳ ಹಿಮ್ಮರಳುವಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಹೈ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಲೋ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಲೋ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಜೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಮಳೆಗಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ಅರ್ಥದ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಒತ್ತಡ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಏಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಉಷ್ಣಾಂಶ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಸುತ್ತಲೂ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಮುದ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಗರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಒತ್ತಡ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಒಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಭಾರತದ ಒಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಮಾದರಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಮಾನ್ಸೂನ್ ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ದಿ ಸನ್ ರೇಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ 
vertically over the southern hemisphere. Dakshina the gold the male, near over the southern king below there. Angagi Uttara the gold the male, over the below there. And really temperature and agar of that, temperature kadme of there. Temperature kadme daga, pressure and agribeco, pressure jazz tagribeco. Pressure jazz tagribeco on the ga, boom merely pressure jazz under a part of the pressure jazz the ga, part of the barricade mark of the contalo animato. But in lay, so broader ragi concept on a tamar for that. India, it is near to the Juridic equator. When the southwest monsoon winds they strikes towards the northeastern region, they did not stop within India. They continue blows towards the other countries also. And due to the low temperature, they start to back towards the southern hemisphere because in southern hemisphere there is a high temperature, low pressure. In the northern hemisphere, low temperature, high pressure. So these winds blows from the north northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere. So we are near to the equator. So when the monsoon winds, they start restretch towards the southern hemisphere. Usually, they brings little bit rainfall. So that is the monsoon retreating season. Only 13% of the rainfall occurred in this season. Remember, when the southwest monsoon starts to blow towards the northeastern region, they witness it for heavy rainfall in India. But when these northeastern Monsoon winds they restrict towards India. They didn't bring any rainfall because they are the dry winds. But how this rainfall occurred in India? So because that is the reason the temperate cyclone occurred in the Bay of Bengal due to the local temperature. That is the reason the temperate cyclones they created rainfall, especially in the east coast, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, then Tamil Nadu. These states they received little bit rainfall even in the monsoon retreating season. So last topic that is the rainfall distributed in India. Here we classified into three zones based on the quantum of rainfall because there is no universal rainfall occurred all over the India. So first one Areas with low rainfall, second one, areas with medium rainfall, third one, areas with heavy rainfall. So, Karma Malay Bidon the Pradesh Gulu, Sadarna Malay Bidon the Pradesh Gulu, or the Hichu Malay Bidon the Pradesh Gulu. So, first one, areas with low rainfall. So, here we categorized the places and regions which areas they are receiving less than 50 centimeters rainfall annually. Washikawagi, Ayoto centimeter in the Karme Malay belong to Pradesh Vigalva, Avola Navo, E on the zone only, now categories Madidi. So just in, it's very easy to understand which are they are receiving very less rainfall. Uh, in India, there is a desert that is a Thar desert, and which are the states they are very near to the Thar desert, these states usually they receive very low rainfall. Some, some parts of the Gujarat, Rajasthan, some parts of the Haryana, and some parts of the Punjab. So, even the Raja Gulali, Thar Desert, and Chukundi, and the Kali Tumba, Kadama Malay Pedote, Astar Tamar Kondasako. Here, exam oriented question that is, which is the place that is the driest place in India? Or they can ask like this. Which is the place that is recorded very lowest rainfall in India? So both are same, but answer is the same. That is Ruili. And the way, at the end of Karma Melo, Malay Melo, that Pradesh no Ruili ne. Only 8.3 centimeters for on year. What should be 8.3 centimeters to Karma Malay Melo? That means that the Bharat at the end of one Pradesh no saha, that is Ruili na ekarot. And second one, areas with the medium rainfall. So, which are the areas they are receiving? 50 centimeters up to 100 centimeters. So, Angagi, even the Pradesh will even the general birth. So, just observe the places in this slide. Then, the last one that is the category that is the zone which are the areas they are receiving heavy rainfall. So, more than 100 to more than the 200 centimeters rainfall annually. So, Nur in the Inuru centimeter of the Inuru in the Hilabin of the Pradesh Gledelva, Avo, even the zonal birth and tell it. These places, Jammu Hills, some parts of the Western Guards, 
and also Himachal Pradesh, UP, Bihar, West Bengal. So these are the states they are receiving highest rainfall in India when we compare to the other states. Brain exercising episode. So I listed question and answers. So just observe, then think about the answers. You can see my description box and you can watch my previous videos. So then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.